So is it possible to manifest success with uh, minimal effort? Is it possible to create uh, finances or the love of your life or an amazing body or a deep spiritual connection with God? with minimal effort. It's a question that I'm asked all the time and over the past many, many years of teaching certification workshops in many different areas of life, it comes up everywhere. If I'm teaching um, a, a workshop on addiction recovery or if I'm teaching a workshop on advanced spiritual studies or I'm doing um, one of my life coaching workshops uh, or a public speaking workshop, it seems that so many of us these days, maybe more so now than ever, um, are looking for a way to manifest. Another word for manifestation is to create great success in life with minimal effort. And the question today's video is, is that possible? Hmm, let's find out. I am David Essel. If you look at a lot of very popular DVDs and books in the world of personal growth, the answer would seem to be yes. It would seem to be that if you follow this certain intention work, you do this certain kind of um, uh, uh, boards, storyboards, dream boards, vision boards, etc., that you can actually manifest amazingly great things in very, very short periods of time. And uh, while that may be true in some cases, because miracles do happen, right? You miraculously decide that you want to meet the lover of your life, and the next day on the way to the airport, you're parking, and you ding somebody, and all of a sudden you get out of the car, and you look at that person, they look at you, and you fall in love. And you go, oh my God, I just created this intention last night, and look what happened. Or maybe you do it around finances, and the next day you normally don't buy lottery tickets, and you go, and you buy, and you win $50 million. You go, oh my gosh, this stuff works, right? Or the dream house, the house you've always wanted. I mean, so what we're talking about is miracles. And miracles do happen, absolutely. Now, they don't happen very frequently, but they do happen. The honest to God truth is the answer to can you create amazing health, wealth, love, success, your body, God relationships um, in a very, very easy and effortless way? The answer is no. If we remove miracles, so part of the answer is yes, a miracle can happen. But if we want to look at the 99.9% .9 of people who are successful in life, is that I think we're going to find that the answer is absolutely not. That it is uh, next to impossible to create great, amazing success in life with minimal effort. Now, I know that that's going to disappoint a lot of people because you'll go, but what about this best-selling book? And what about this best-selling author? And what about this? And I'll say, you know what? I know. And I used to preach the same stuff. Ten years ago, I used to preach the same thing with vision boards and wall boards and dream boards, and I wrote about all this stuff. And I, you know, unfortunately, I say unfortunately, I did the best I could with what I knew. Uh, back when I was teaching then, just ten years ago, I used to be able to say, say to people, yes, if you want to manifest this, say these affirmations every day in this certain way. Create the vision board in this certain way. That's going back, you know, to 2000, 11 years ago now, is when I stopped and we made a major change in our teaching. But we used to teach the same thing. And what happened was, is that I taught that way for about 15 years. And I finally woke up. This is a long time to teach that one way. <laughs> because I had such great optimism, I was really hoping it was going to work. And I woke up and said, oh my gosh. If I look back at my clients who were incredibly successful, my mentors who were amazingly successful, if I looked at the success that I created in my own personal life with love, with finances, with my body, is that not one thing ever happened effortlessly. It's, it isn't. It doesn't. And for most of us, it's not going to. From now until the day we go home, meaning we leave this planet. You know, there's, there's nothing that will come without effort. When I look at, at the work of um, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield with Chicken Soup for the Soul, when I think of Mother Teresa's work, uh, Nelson Mandela, the Dalai Lama, when I think of Donald Trump, uh, I could, the list can go on and on and on. Susie Orman, uh, all these people, many of these people that I've interviewed, you know, and, and, and if not interviewed uh, multiple times, at least one or two times, and I've also had a chance to read, like Nelson Mandela, I would love to interview Nelson Mandela, but 27 years in prison, to come out after 27 years in prison and see his dream manifest, well, he had 27 years of intense internal work that he was doing in prison in order to manifest a new Africa and to shatter the way the world perceived Africa and, and how people perceive people, as a matter of fact. It was a huge, huge shattering. But 
it wasn't overnight and it wasn't he didn't re take out a dream board or a vision board and put a picture of himself in Africa being the president of South Africa and it happened like in a week or a month it was 27 years in the making so I really want to dispel that notion and for anyone that I may have um, unintentionally misled <laughs> who I worked my tail off with in the 90s and in the 80s about creating and manifestation and all that kind of stuff you know in 2000 I had a great wake-up call and that great wake-up call Call is that this is nonsense and let's get into reality the reality is that for any area of our life to shift it's going to take a consistent passionate daily effort it's going to take for most of us a plan a plan of getting up and saying I'm going to do this 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 and this until I meet the right person I'm going to make the adjustments in my own internal self so that I become the person I want to meet right I'm, I'm going to do the work in regards to my passion my career even if it means that I'm up late at night and having to work another job to support me but but if I want to change my body, it's going to happen by effort and time and, and doing some disciplined things. You know, most of the greatest changes we're going to see in life will come from doing the uncomfortable, quite frankly. So let's, let's shatter this old nonsense um, of, that we've been pulling around. It's, and I, I'm sorry, sad to say that it's still out there in a lot of books and CDs of well-meaning people. I'm not saying that they're misleading anyone on purpose, but let's look at the reality. We have thousands and thousands of years of experience saying that for most most part, 98% of us or 99% of us, to create something magical, it's going to take a magical effort. Look at Napoleon Hill with Think and Grow Rich. He took 20 years of research to write that book. Okay? I think you got the picture. <laughs> if I can help you to break the old habits of manifestation and creation and intention and to create new ones that really work, contact me at talkdavid.com. Oh my Lord. Please share this with as many people as you can to, to get us moving in a direction that's going to be fulfilling versus frustrating. Okay, really, let's, let's all work together on this. Um, TalkDavid.com is my website, and don't forget to sign up for all of our videos at Super Slowdown. Go to YouTube and just type in Super Slowdown and add me to your account, and then all the videos we send will be directly sent to your YouTube account. Okay, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.